Thank you for your introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Erwin with Architect. I'm glad to present our award for many sense today. And yeah, it's a shame that the first author, Guishan, didn't make it to Germany, but I really want to thank him and also all other co authors. This award cannot come true without the great number of Almighty members. Okay, speaking of Almighty, this is also related to the topic for today. So, as we may know, in recent years, mobile phones is becoming an all rounder sensing device. It can not only be incorporated by the user, but also can be uh, performed interaction with the users uh, by all these sensors. However, uh, current interaction still mostly relies on the touchscreen, which has some downsides, such as small hand or fat fingers. Also, it only supports mostly 2D inputs. On the other hand, more and more phones are equipped with the cameras with wider field of view. Like while some of them even have like a built-in 360 camera. Since a 360 camera is proved to be an all-rounder visual sensor, we believe it can be also served as a good all-in-one sensing unit for interaction. So as you can see in this video here, a 360 camera can capture an all-round view around the device, which means it provides a complete understanding of your hand, or your finger position, or your face, or your body posture. And in addition, it can also sense the contents and also the environment around the user, which means it is also able to understand the interaction between the user and the surroundings. Therefore, our target in this paper is to explore the potential use cases and applications that leverage these uh, omnidirectional sensing capabilities. So first of all, we broadly categorize the design space of sensing into three dimensions based on the distance from the camera, namely near device, a run device and lots of surroundings uh, of our device. So each sensing dimension can be further divided into different tasks such as like detecting the different handiness or uh, finger posture near, in, near, in the near device scenario or detecting the body posture or spatial gesture in the run device scenario and even like extract information from the surroundings for activity recognition or even for IoT home devices. So there are some more detailed use cases, but we are not going through all of them due to the limit time. I will come back to explain each application later. Uh, for that, of course, we are not definitely not the first who focus on multi-dimension sensing. Uh, there are many related works, which is shown in this table here. Uh, well, yeah, there are great numbers of works, and you can maybe check our paper to see the detailed comparison with them. But anyway, to summarize. Many of them utilize like multiple sensors, and all of the current work cannot enable an all-in-one sensing that uh, includes all the dimensions that we just in, uh, discussed. So that's why we think the potential of the design space of the 360 camera is huge. So let's go into each sensing dimension. So for the near device interaction, we show multiple applications utilize the sensing of 3D hand. First, you can see this adaptive UI, which adapts the keyboard based on the different handiness of both hands. So next, since it is not possible, it is possible to detect the hovering finger, we can use it to show the high UI elements graciously. And you can also see the buttons are fading out based on the 3D, uh, the 3D sum distance. And also because it's a 360 camera, of course, we can utilize the back of the device. So the user here is sliding his index finger behind the device to control the audio volume. And also different from the touch screen, we can detect the specific finger which is touching the screen from the visual cues. So here we demonstrate a seamless mode switching based on for the drawing application. So the, the camera is detecting which finger or like which gesture is touching the device and changing the drawing effect. Like it even can also detect a side stylus based on the camera video feature. So next, let's talk about the design space for a run device interaction. As I mentioned before, the 360 camera can observe user's full body, which means it can also act as a motion capture for controlling a yeah, virtual 3D avatar. And it opens a new possibility for like live streaming or metaverse uh, teleconference. Yeah, and okay, so and also, like our study actually started like two years ago, and we utilized activity recognition for a timely application, like warning users to not touch their faces. But actually, it's not timely, timely at all. Like I'm happy that it becomes a like, user functional, but yeah, sure. Uh, next, since we also can detect the upper body position, uh, we can use the body to control and map. So, for example, here the user is zooming the map by moving the phone to the body, and also rotating the map by rotating the phone to the body, which might make intuitive navigation possible. 
So besides the upper body, of course, we can also use the lower body to interact with the foam. So the video here shows the user playing a game by stepping her feet forward. And lastly, uh, we have also the surrounding interaction. While our 360 camera can provide an even wider field of view as uh, than as human beings, it can also support the smartphone zombies instead of like forcing people to stop the <laughs> smartphone, not, uh, stop using their phone while working. We can detect the surrounding obstacle and wonder. Next, the device now is placed on the table and it can detect like what the user is holding or interacting. This is enable uh, this enable the use of vlog recording or like cookback application in the kitchen scenario and the video now shows the users raising the mock-up to control the time slider without operating with their hands. Okay, we can also perform like more like something like context that we are sensing by recognizing users' location from the background. It enables the device to provide different interaction based on the scenario. For example, here now a user just getting to his car. We show an in-car scenario where the phone can act as a smart driving assistant. We can provide like warnings or notification based on the user status. For example, he's like drinking now and so she's using the smartphone, which is quite dangerous to the phone. And also we can detect some like media gesture for a safer control for the system. Well, since the time is kind of limited now, so I, I will uh, skip some of the applications. So please check our paper for more details. And now let me briefly go through the implementation. First of all, we obtain the 360 image from the phone and next the image will be calculated, uh, calibrated according to the user's position and cropped to the different region of interest based on the different application. So after further processing such as like normalization and distortion fixing, the image will be passed to a specific neural network model uh, for different tasks. For example, for body and posture and object detection, we utilize some existing pre-trained models such as OpenPost and YOLO. While the, for the finger post tracking, since our camera is in a unique uh, position, which is very close to the finger, we collect data, new data, and train the two-stream network for 3D finger post estimation. The network basically extracts the finger location heat map from the input and with another autoencoder network that estimates the depths. So the final 3D finger joint position is estimated from the 2D location and the 3D depth map. Okay, here we also show some evaluation results of the model. Like uh, in terms of the classification of the handiness and gesture recognition, our model achieves a 98% accuracy when detecting cross-user handiness and a 96% accuracy for classifying the active finger or gesture or status. And in terms of the finger tracking, uh, we achieved an average error of uh, less than 3 mm for 2D tracking and less than 5 mm of for 3D tracking. Even for the depth results, uh, the average error didn't exceed 9 mm across different users with different finger size and finger shape. And also we run an ex a pre pre preliminary user study uh, to know the user's experience on each application. A questionnaire is given to them to ask whether the sensing technique is common. Are convenient to use, is easy to use, is fun, and is whether it is necessary to have on the phone. So if we first focus on the near device interaction, the user run a relatively lower score than the other condition. Overall, most users think the fingertip operation is too gimmicky and prefer the current touchscreen sensing better for its precision and also intuitiveness. Also, some users think that the handiness function is good to have since it can be easily realized by others, but it cannot be easily realized by other sensors. Okay, so in terms of the around device interaction, it has overall a higher score compared to the uh, near device interaction. Most users think that these applications are fun to have and also easy to use, especially for the interaction with the full body, while the motion capture for the virtual avatar achieved a higher score in all scenarios. Finally, the sensing of surrounding achieved the overall highest score in the three dimensions, especially in the convenience and the easy to use. <laughs> most of the uh, participants think they are very useful. I mean, also the most of the participants think it is practical to use the phone in a fixed setup, in a, like a private space where they don't need to worry about battery life and also like the camera privacy problem. Oops, I forgot to show the comments, but basically they are like mentioned what I just said.
And okay, uh, let me come to the talk. So we introduced Omini Sense, which is the design space for mobile devices with a 360 camera, and we demonstrate how it is capable for enabling various use cases and applications. Although not all applications are proved to be useful, we hope this research showcases the potential of 360 camera of enabling novel techniques that can improve like mobile interactions. And thank you, and I'm glad to answer any question. Ask questions again, but again, this great research. But um, how reliable is it in changing light conditions and overall what effect the noisiness of misclassifying um, joints and um, extremities? So, to be honest, like the research do have some limitations, as you mentioned, like lighting and also like the different thing, uh, the handshake, especially like for when it comes to. Uh, like the different placement of the of different placement of the hand when you're holding the phone. Actually, the lighting is in that that match that match matches that much because like uh, especially in the near device inter interaction, the hand is very close to the mm -hmm. the camera, so it's like the exposure won't matter that much. Of course, it's very it's a very dark condition; it won't work that much. But actually, the more problem comes to it because of the stitch of the 360 camera, because like uh, like in this figure here, I'm not sure if you can see it. The finger is like being stitched because of the, the 360 uh, image. Basically, it, 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 it stitched two uh, 100, uh, 180 images together, and the finger just disappeared mm -hmm. during the stitch. So yes, these problem hopefully can be solved, of course, by the camera in the future. And also, I'm thinking maybe we can also use some like uh, image completion method or like uh, deep learning based method to solve it. I, yeah, I have some like example here, maybe. Uh, there's like a 360 image completion network which is working on like uh, for even like camera with which is not 360 like maybe let's say 300 or 350 where, where there is like a lag between the two image where they can like you know, fix the gap by using the completion method. So I hope this answers your question. Yeah. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Maybe like all the examples specific to um, Are there any interaction techniques that are enabled only by 360 camera, did it count? Yeah, that's a very good question. So overall, it's hard to say whether like there's a specific uh, interaction that can only be uh, available for, for the 360, but like I mentioned before, like uh, by some users, they never seen like, because of the handiness is actually like, kind of tricky, because like if you put like some pen, like some heat sensor on the side, thermal sensor on the side of the phone, you, of course you can detect it, but normally those phones don't have it. But it's more, it, it makes the 360 is basically def, definitely more suitable for this task. 